Hey everyone, Jason Shepard of m0a.com. A little bit of a fix real quick. As I realize, um, last night's pilot training TV didn't record so hot. I think I had an audio problem. So I'm going to talk about um, the classy airspace zipper line that you guys were talking about. Um, and for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I did a video classy airspace, which can, which absolutely rocked you guys. I think I got over 40 comments on it now. I mean, you guys uh, are just turning up and I really, I appreciate it so much. Uh, one of the common comments that kept coming up over and over was, I get the whole 700, 1200 thing, this transition area in the domestic and root area, but what's the deal with this blue zipper line here? What does that mean? Well, this is showing you where Class E airspace starts if it's different than the 7 and 12 rule. Here you can see inside this little triangle here, it's starting at 12.2 MSL note. Okay, here it's starting at 15.5. Now, why is that? Well, look at this terrain here. We can tell just by looking at this, this is relatively low, well, for the Denver area, lower terrain. You can see here's a, here's a 9... Uh, 9,700. And then right here is a 13.9, 13.1, 12, 12.1. So there's some high mountains out there. Now think about it from the 700 and 1200 rule. If you were flying around here thinking you were out in controlled airspace, you couldn't even be out in that controlled airspace because before you know it, you're gonna end up into having a C-fit controlled flight into terrain situation where you fly a perfectly good airplane into the side of a mountain effectively. Classy airspace, the controlled airspace for IFR aircraft obviously needs to be a lot higher that way you're not even close. I mean, still 15.5 is awfully close to just about a 14,000 foot peak for me. But still, so you're not close to these peaks. Now, you're only going to see this in the higher terrain areas where I fly in Florida or anywhere that's flat. You guys are not going to see this kind of stuff. This is why I usually bust out a Denver sectional just so my students can see this because it's a little bit different. It may not always apply to you, but just so you know, you've got it. So that's what the blue zipper line is. It's de designating class E airspace other than the seven and 12 that you would find in these transition areas or in the domestic and root areas. You have that blue zipper line. So hopefully that clears it up for you. Uh, sorry about the audio on uh, Pilot Train TV last night. Got it fixed now though. So everything's working great. And hey, guys, thank you so much for all you do and being such a blessing to myself and my business. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Leave me a comment below. And remember, a good pilot is always learning. Hey, have a great uh, day, guys. See ya.